Well, hello guys and gals, and welcome back to another edition of The Hunter with me, Mr. Moose. Hey, today I'm going to go over some basics of the game for you. Uh, when Landy and I did our multiplayer, we just played the game the other day, and I really didn't uh, explain too much of the game to you. So I want to cover that today and give you a little bit more info about this game and why it is just so cool. Because, um, first of all, let's start with what it takes to get in and start playing it. Uh, the Hunter is free to play. And by that, you download the game. Uh, when you do download it, you're downloading the full game. And uh, from day one, you can start playing, you can start hunting. You don't have to pay any money to get started. Uh, what you will get as a, what they call, guest member, is um, you'll get your starter kit with a rifle, scope, ammunition. You'll get a deer call, a digital camera, and a pair of binoculars. And... A little base camo and I think this is exactly the way you're camoed up uh, to begin with I could be off just a little bit I forget exactly which pieces I got when I started the game uh, but it's pretty close it's pretty stripped down it doesn't do very much for you uh, conceal wise but that's uh, that's what it is so into the inventory I'll go ahead and show you what weaponry you get you're going to start off and ignore everything over here on the left. What is on the right is what you'll actually have. You'll have a nice little rifle here. It's a 243 bolt action rifle. Uh, you're going to have a couple of boxes, uh, a box of ammo. Actually, you get three boxes of ammo. A scope, a deer bleat, a camera, and a pair of binoculars. And that's what you get to start the game. Um, and you can hunt with that. And you can do a great job. As a guest, you're allowed to hunt mule, uh, mule deer, cottontail rabbits, and European rabbits. Now, starting out the game, you end up with a rifle and uh, some ammo, so you really can't shoot rabbits right off the bat. Um, but there are missions in the game that you can play as a guest, which are like track a, track a deer, spot a deer, kill a deer... Uh, mule deer each one of those things gives you what's called GM dollars and those GM dollars can be used to purchase things in the store like hunting license um, more and different equipment to make it better for you uh, for example if you do all the mule deer missions and you get that out they'll give you a certain percentage of money and then you can go out and you can get a single shot rifle with your GM dollars that will allow you to play a little bit better. Because like I said, the missions, you'll end up, uh, you know, earn about $2,200 doing your, your missions for Mule Deer. In doing that, you'll be able to get you a week-long whitetail license. You can hunt the whitetails for a week. And by doing all the whitetail missions, you'll get yourself up some money, enough to where you can buy that single-shot rifle and some ammo. And you'll be able to, uh, you know, hunt other items. Now, for a complete guide of how to play as a guest, I want you to go to thehunterwiki.com and check out the section called um, Guest Player Guide. In that, it gives you step-by-step -step on how to maximize your experience as a guest, how to earn the most GM dollars so that you can upgrade and be able to buy more things. Because like I said, after you get a base amount of GM dollars, you can buy a whitetail license. You can be able to hunt whitetails uh, in the specific area where you start out. Now, some restrictions are on guest. First of all, you don't get to hunt all the preserves as a guest. Um, you can start single games off in uh, the, the reserve that we're in right now, which is called uh, Logger's Point, I believe is the name of it. And that's going to be your starting uh, reserve that you can hunt in. And it's basically good for uh, mule deer, white-tail deer. Um, there are feral hog in there. Uh, rabbits. I think there's coyotes. Uh, a couple of other things. Mainly mule deer, white-tails, feral deer uh, running around and a little bit of rabbits. So those things are immediately going to be in that area for you. So um, if you want to expand that area you can play it very well um, in addition to that you can play in multiplayer games if you've got a friend who has a membership 
you can join them on any of the nine preserve reserves and hunt with them but you just can't kill anything except the things that you have licenses for well that's where those gm dollars come in handy because you can buy some membership licenses with those gm dollars to show you what all you can buy let's jump back into the the main part of the uh, store and i'll walk you through things that you can get and then we'll come back and we'll do some gameplay all right guys so here we are in the launcher for the hunter and this is where you'll do everything from uh, manage your profile check out all your stats launch a new game and as you can see in the front they're doing that membership drive uh through the 12th which probably by the time i get this posted that'll be over with but it does give us the ability to uh look at some of the memberships uh we're going to go into the store real quick now look up at the top bar here, you've got EM money and GM money. Now, the difference between EM and GM, EM money you buy, but it's not very expensive. I mean, for five bucks, you get 500 EM money. Um, that's not going to buy you a ton in the store, but if you're on a budget and you're not wanting to spend a lot in the game, you can actually get five bucks and get 500 EM money, and you can come in the store and... And you could use that EM money to buy uh, a few little things. And if you buy something, it's yours uh, for as long as you play the game. Uh, whether you're playing as a member or whether you're playing as a, uh, you know, as free play. So it doesn't matter. If you're just free play and you want a different gun to be out there hunting with, maybe you want to get that 300 bolt action rifle or you want a shotgun, you can, you can get it, you know, get your 500 EM dollars, which for five bucks, and then you go in here and, you know, get you like this one right here for 450 but you got to buy ammo for it too. But anyways, I, I digress. GM money, uh, if you go to the licenses, as you can see, all the different licenses are listed here. And let's say your buddy plays the game, he's a member, and he likes to hunt moose. Well, you can come in here and you've earned enough little GM money. You can come in here and for $2,000... Uh, for 23 in GM money, you can get a one day pass to hunt moose, white tail deer. You do all the, you know, if you want a one week pass to hunt white tail, it's 43.99. Well, if you earn that money doing the the mule deer, as I told you with the guide, then you'll be able to accumulate enough money to buy this. You'll hunt the white deer. You'll accumulate some more money. And you'll be able to buy, you know, little small licenses for it. But at the same time, like I say, you could throw five bucks into the game and you could buy a fifty-five dollar, uh, you know, for fifty-five EMS, which again you're buying five hundred for five bucks. So that's about what the equivalent of fifty-five cents. Um, you know, um, you're going to be able to, uh, play the white tail for, a, for a day. So, um, it, it's not that ridiculous to get involved in this. Now, if you do go and you buy the memberships, uh, they are a bit more expensive. Uh, if we go back out to the main dashboard here and let's see if we can compare the memberships. Um, let's see if I can jump in here real quick. So if you, you've got the memberships, you can see like right now they're on sale for $34.99 for a year. And with this one, you get 12 month membership. You get all kinds of extra ammo, weapons. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, but you know, you can get a six month for 18 bucks. But the nice thing about this is if you get this trail runner one, right here this is the this is the basic for $34.99. If you get the trail runner for $49.99, it comes with seven extra weapons and all kinds of goodies, right? That's the starter package that I did pick up uh, because it just gave you a great amount of weapons and got you really well started. But if you were to come and get it in a year, you just have to buy this package. You don't have to spend 49 You pay 34 in a year. If you don't want to pay anymore, you can just stop paying and you can just play for free and uh, play with a friend with the weapons that you have, but you'll only be able to kill uh the the mule deer and and um uh uh yeah the rabbits you'll be able to kill them um but at that time you'll have a whole bunch of weapons and you know you might be spending some of your gm money just to buy uh you know little licenses to hunt here and there so it's all up to you how you want to play uh, but it is uh, pretty cool that you can get into the game for uh, little to nothing uh, and not have to spend any money hardly at all I mean, for 
for five bucks, you can get enough EM money to to buy some licenses for some other uh, animals and be able to kill them. So just wanted to showcase that to you uh, in here in this system. So we'll head back into the game now and we'll start uh, start our hunt. All right, so now that you've seen how you can use EM dollars and GM dollars to get equipment, and you kind of get an idea of how you can play for the minimal amount of money or even to play just for free. Let's go ahead and do a little hunt using the equipment that you began with in the zone that you began with and we'll hunt for a mule deer and see if we can't get one and down it. So we're on Logger's Point and uh, I'm headed on out. And I'll go over a little bit more of the gameplay, jump back into the inventory system real quick just to show you. It's like most of your video games, each slot here has an assigned number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to pull up those weaponries using those on your keyboard. So one's going to bring out my rifle, four is going to bring out my deer bleat, six is going to bring out my binoculars, and if I really am bored I could play with the digital camera but I'm not that bored. Now, if I wanted to put some more things in, I could, and I am going to just for myself. I'm gonna put my bow in, just because I wanna have it with me in case I need it. Um, because I am doing this video for you. Um, I wanna have something just in case I need to put something down quietly, because I wanna maximize my time on the hunt. Uh, if, I, if I get like a, uh, an elk, or not an elk, but if I happen to get a uh, a pig that gets in between me and a deer, I'm going to have to take it out, but I don't want to startle everything in the area, so I like to have that bow with me. So, we're going to go out, though, and hunt for a mule deer, and we're going to try to either, we're going to try for a buck, but if we get a doe, we'll drop a doe, okay? So, let's head on out, and we'll make our way, and as we do, I'll go ahead and explain the PDA system for you. Oh, and by the way, when you leave the lodge, go ahead and arm your weapon uh, and chamber around because they will come un, uh, you know, unloaded. So go ahead and chamber around so you've got one in there. That way you're not doing it right before you get ready to shoot. So we'll head on out, and I'll explain the PDA to you as we walk out. Um, the PDA system on this is what you use to track with. Um, it's got two buttons there. One is the ID, and the second is like a little compass thing. If you left click, you hit the ID button, right click hits the compass, and it's basically that way throughout the, the PDA. Left click, it activates the button on the left, right click is the button on the right. Um, with your gun, aim is uh, to shoulder your weapon or to bring your weapon up is right click of the weapon. You aim, and then uh, if you want to steady, use the space bar. And, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Right click brings your weapon back down. But in the PDA, anytime an animal makes a noise or when you see a track, use the PDA to ID that. You know, click on the ID. If for instance it's an if it's a deer makes a call, you'll hit the ID button, it'll tell you that it's a deer. It'll tell you some more information about it. It might tell you it's roaming, it might tell you it's a male or female. It depends on what level tracking you're at at the time as how much information you get on the PDA. But it's enough information that will help you in your hunt. If it is an audible sound, when you come back to the map view like we are right here after it identifies it, it will ping the map where that sound is coming from. And so you get those little concentric circles coming out that will tell you, you know, this is the area on the map where that sound originated. Now if you're tracking a track that's on the ground, uh, it will give... All right, that's going to be a hog. So I hit the ID button, it identifies it, and then it shows me on the map where the feral hog is. Now I don't want to mess with him, so we're just going to ease down the road here. And actually, I'm going to kind of run a little bit because I want to get on deeper into the reserve so we can get over here and hunt some deer um and i don't want to mess with them i you know i'd like to get this video under half an hour <laughs> so anyways he um this will in a minute we're going to see some signs on the ground they're going to look like little um little half moons 
or quarter moons that'll be out there in in red you can configure it to be whatever color you want to do i'm using red and that is going to be what i use to track the animal and when i click on it it will do again it'll identify it it'll tell me what animal it is and when i come back to the map i'm gonna have a little cone in front of me it's going to be the direction of travel and somewhere within that cone is where i'm going to find my next track to track that animal now see i here is a whole moon now the difference in a half moon and a whole moon is an animal you're currently tracking or on an active track shows up as a whole solid moon now that is that pig that i was just on just a moment ago if i come over here and I click on this one again it is that feral hog when I right click you'll see it gives me the direction of travel so I can follow him down I really don't want to follow him down I'm going to keep on moving over here in hopes that we can find some deer because that ultimately is what we are after alright so now that we've gotten in here I'm going to come out of our sprint and we're just going to slowly ease on through here now here's one of those half moons I was telling you about. And this is a track that we're not currently tracking. So we want to look at it and see what it is. And this is some poop for a mule deer. And that tells us it's roaming in the area. So somewhere around here, there's a mule deer. So the first thing we could do is we could bleat for it. And see if it's going to say anything back to us. And that'll let us know just how close it is. And the next thing we need to do is start looking for more signs. If it doesn't call back, we try to find it. Now see that dotted line that's on the PDA? That's a perimeter that lets me know, you know, in the general area, it lets me know I'm pretty close. Alright, now I've found a trail. And I can see which direction that particular animal is traveling. Uh, this one went back up the hill. And that's going to take me up to that poop, probably. And I'll look for where that deer might have gone to. So now what I'm looking for is that solid red dome to give me some sign of where this deer might have gone half moon over there let's just kind of look around see if i see the sign I know it's not anywhere close. Yeah, I went down in the prone position. Hit the wrong button. Let's see if we can spot where that deer went. This might be a bad one to track. Hmm. Yeah, that one's not real great. Again, this is a half track here, and that is going to be that feral pig. After you play long enough, you'll identify the signs that are on the ground, and you'll know by just looking at those exactly what you're looking at because you've spent enough time uh, tracking that you'll be able to identify just the print on the ground. And you'll know whether it's worth you hitting the ID button on or not. So there's going to be the poop. And that's not going to give me much to go on. So instead of trying to track that deer, I'm going to come over here and see if we can find some more sign to go by because that just wasn't much. Again, I'm just going to call again, 
See if we can get something to make some noise. One thing about this game is it is a simulation, guys, so uh, think about if you've been hunting before, you don't want to run around the woods, you want to slip through the woods, and that's what the crouch position is going to let you do, is you're just kind of, you're kind of slipping through the woods, you're not really walking. Now if you're just looking for sign, pretty much you can walk. Uh, if you know you're in the general area with something, you'll want to slip a little bit more. Because you don't want to run the risk of walking up on it and startling it and uh, and not being able to get a shot on it before it bolts. Thought maybe I saw some sign up ahead. I just keep slipping on through here. Eventually, we're gonna find something. There's a track over there. Now this is a track that we're not currently on. And it could very well be that mule deer uh, walking back into that area. If it is, I'm not going to track it. Uh, because I want to move in. So uh, This is going to be feral hog here. Yep, feral hog roaming. Trying to find some mule deer. Let me turn to our right. See if we can drop a little bit deeper in here. More sign for that stupid feral pig. I hate these pigs. They're everywhere. And you'll walk up on them and they'll bolt. And that's really annoying. Uh, Landy and I were hunting the other night. And we had uh, we were on this particular map. It was when I was um, a guest. And didn't have the ability to, uh, to try or to uh, hunt anything other than mule deer. And uh, he and I had... We were in the southwest quad of this map. And... We had just spotted this huge herd of um, bucks. And each of us had picked out a target. We were both prone, ready to take a shot. And we just let them ease into the area. There was a doe off to one side of us. And we were trying to, you know, be careful to get the shot without... Uh, without startling her, you know. And I was actually in the final countdown to take the shot. The three, two, one. And right as I said one, this pig lets off this huge squeal. And I mean, it was just annoying loud. And when you don't expect it, it really startles you. Because we were both ready to pull the trigger. And uh, I go ahead and pull my trigger. But the yelp is so loud and startles Landy that he doesn't get the shot off at the same time as me. So he misses his buck. I get mine, but it's kind of kind of a pain that uh, we didn't get the, the second shot off and get the twofer um, right there. So sort of annoying alright so just slipping through here I was really hoping we come up on a even a doe by now because this area of the map I've only played this particular area a couple of times and when I did uh, I, I tend to run into a lot of pigs 
but it's supposed to be very heavily populated with the uh, with the mule deer. So uh, it's a situation where I can't believe we haven't run across any sign yet. There are some limitations. There we go. Alright, so that's some of the old deer roaming. And you'll see it's just on the other side of that pond there. So we'll just start slipping around here. And see if we can get into a position where we can call it in. I'm going to go ahead and respond. That's gonna be a doe, by the way. That the way they uh, the way they snort uh, and the difference you you'll like I say you'll get to where you can identify them uh, based on the sound that they make. That's gonna be a doe slipping through the woods. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna move away from my initial call because the way the game works. While they do random path, um, they do tend to just hone right in on the uh, the sound and come straight at it. So um, I tend to like make my initial call and then slip off to the side uh, and just kind of pay attention to where things are and the direction they're traveling. See if I can slide right up here to this edge and get a good view down in here. Pull out our binoculars and see what we see. And of course I pull out the camera. So just scan through, see what we see. Nothing so far. We made that initial call right over here. Now the calls in the game from what I read, tend to go for about four minutes of time to uh, to really call the animal and hold their attention. So if that animal is up in front of us, chances are it's going to walk this ridge. So let's just kind of take a look. And another one that's straight across the road there. So now we're in a situation where we could be end up drawing in two different animals uh, at the same time. And that's where a bow comes in really handy. Um, because if you do end up drawing two of them in, if you can drop the first one without a gunshot, uh, you can a lot of times drop the second one. The bow comes in really handy if you're stalking something too. Let's say you're stalking a what you've identified as a big buck. And you don't want to... Uh, You don't want to spook him by shooting a doe that's going to come up on you. And you don't want to spook her and just let her run off. Uh, you can take the shot with the bow and put her down 
without her uh, causing any commotion. there. I'm going to reposition so if I see her coming I've got a shot. She'll be able to look down this way. I still got some good shots. Let's call her in. Because really my objective is just to show you guys what you can do with the basic kit that you can play and have some fun. Um, in this with the free version of it and then you can decide whether you want to uh, to get a membership and hunt more of the animals and the sounds in this game are just amazing. They've done such a great job with this. Now the game's been out for about five years. But it's evolved over that time. And it seems like every so every so often they put out a new package. I mean, she's right in front of us now. Let's go ahead and get our goggles out, get our binoculars out. Let's see if we spot her coming in. There we go. She'll come just a little bit further in and I'm going to take her. Because uh, I want to wrap this video up, honestly. Maybe she's going to walk right behind that tree. There she is. Take a deep breath. And... She is down. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Hopefully, you know, it would have been nicer if that was a big buck and we could have taken it. Now, if I hadn't have gotten a good vital shot on her, we'd have seen uh, her run and you'd have had to track her. But because uh, she was so close, I was able to get uh, an easy shot on her. And so now we harvest her by using our PDA, and it, I won't get any real points or anything, but I did get a good body shot, and uh, yeah, so that's it. So I got a uh, harvested, a, you know, a doe, and uh, you know, you'll see a lot of does in the beginning, and then you'll start seeing more, more bucks. Um, and if honestly, if I had more time to hunt today, uh, I would, but I just wanted to do a brief introduction video for you guys. Landy and I are going to play more and more. Um, basically, though, I wanted to explain the PDA and the things that you're doing in the game so that you understood it as you're watching the video. So when you see us walking on these red dots, you understand what the difference in a big red dot and a little red moon is. Um, so you wouldn't be confused and you would understand that. And then also just to explain the basics, 
If you like the video and you're interested in the game, go ahead and download it. Go to thehunter.com, check everything out, download it, and go ahead and install it on your computer and give it a try. And you may decide you really like it, you may decide you don't. Look at what your options are for licenses and things of that nature. Uh, the thing about it is, is like if you do go the route of buying a premium license, that Trailblazer license for, and right now it's on sale for like thirty something dollars. If you do buy it for, and you go ahead and get it for a year, um, you don't have to upgrade at the end of the year for another forty three. You just buy the basic twelve months license without any of the bells and whistles. Um, the 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 current you know, Trailblazer one, that basically gives you all the guns and everything. And the other th the thing about it is any merchandise that you have or any weapons that you have, uh, let's say you let your membership expire and uh, you don't want to, you don't want to purchase a new one. Anything that you have when your membership runs out, you get to keep and it stays in it. And you can go back to just free play and just hunting, you know, uh, the, the, the mule deer with whatever weapons you had, whether it be the bow or the, or, or what, whatever that you got while you were playing the game as a licensed player or whatever. So, um, which I think is pretty cool. You know, you don't lose your, what you got, uh, just because you, you can't afford the game for another year or something like that. And, but again, if you do buy a premium membership at the end of a year, you don't have to buy re up the premium. You just re up whatever licenses you want or whatever duration you want. You can go to pay every three months or pay for every six months or whatever. So uh, that's another nice little thing about this game. So uh, anyways, go to the go to the site, check it out. And for more information on the reserves, the gear, um, the guns, ammo, all that information, the wiki page is really good. Check it out. Check out some of the videos and uh, learn more about the game. And then check out Landy and I play a multiplayer together uh, in the coming days. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informational for you guys and maybe spurred a little interest in The Hunter. I am Mr. Moose. I do post new videos every day. So come on back for another uh, edition of The Hunter as well as more Farm and Sim. And who knows what else we'll get into the new videos every day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.